As long as Alva hurries! I'm almost into the network! Just... do the best you can. Okay, an elevator. Promising. We got some unfinished business, little girl. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. You need it. You want this. There's nowhere to hide. <laughs> I'm taking you down! Whoa! I can't let him catch me. to shut you up! Are you 
There. I'm on my way to help. Just need to find my way in there. Now we're having fun, right? If you okay? I will be. In time. Go. Rescue your sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. down there? Uh, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories. As if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out.
This is it. End of the line. Are you okay? Look, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself, which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together, where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. 
I loved Elizabeth more than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity, a mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again, not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! Submit, Aloy. You can't win. No! I've heard that before. Sticks and stones against the lightning. Scan that thing first. I gotta get through all that armor before I can do some damage. This specter was designed to survive against more than that. Target its gold plating. You cannot win. I can keep going. Hit those gold plates. Activate! It's no good. Gotta keep up the fight and build my stamina. I've seen your life, Aloy. It should not be lost.
You're not taking me, Tilda! Is this really what you want? Need to hit it while it's covered in acid. Plates to power its attacks. Fire! Well, that did something. I'll shut you down. Keep me in the fight. Oh. Oh, it's quick! Keep it up! No. I'll do some damage. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. 
along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith's shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge, to reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Aloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the ten. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Hey, where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all of the help you can get. Uh, does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because 
they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. Courage to overcome any obstacle. And the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. This is so somber. These words don't seem like mine, but the iron won't subside. No matter, no matter what I try. i 